This is the Snyder VCAD Rapid. The V stands for video, CAD for computer aided design, and Rapid because it's so quick. Shadow graphs have been used for many decades. This instrument represents the next generation. The VCAD Rapid is a digital camera system that views the outline of a component with a range of image fields using a four step motor driven telecentric zoom. Four viewing image field sizes are available. 65.5 by 55 mm, 32.5 by 27.5 mm, 16 by 13.5 mm, and 8 by 6.5 mm. For larger components, this can alternatively be supplied in conjunction with an XY stage, which is movable anywhere in its range and is fitted with a dual Heidenheim grating with 1 micron resolution. This means you can accurately assess large geometry to high accuracy. The software makes this instrument into a powerful geometric calculator, which can automatically recognize straight edges, curves, and circles, enabling the calculation of complex geometric relationships from the whole profile. Let's have a look at a simple measurement. After placing the component onto the surface plate, the profile is displayed in the main area of the screen. If higher magnifications are required, select this from above. We will now go directly to the most powerful feature of the system, which is the ability to let the software automatically detect lines, curves and circles. By simply selecting what geometry you are trying to measure along the icons at the bottom of the screen, you can move your cursor to the region you wish to identify. With a single click, the software will find the edge that defines a straight line and create a best fit line through all of the data points found. In the bottom left hand panel, the lines found are shown in CAD format. The top left hand panel indicates that 22 points were detected and a least squares line was fitted through these points at an angle of 40 degrees, 34 minutes and 21 seconds. With the center point of that line, shown at the above coordinates. In the bottom left hand panel you can now see the outline geometry of the component appearing in CAD format. This is showing all of the straight lines we have just identified. It's that simple. Now we can select the circle icon and use the same method to identify circles and curves. Again the software identifies the boundary and fits a least squares circle or arc to those points. And the bottom left hand panel again shows these features being added. If we now select the feature panel, we can see that a least squares circle was fitted with 56 points. The diameter is shown and the centre of the circle in the XY coordinates. And the geometry panel now shows these features have been added to the CAD style drawing. Once you've selected all of the features of interest, you can bring the geometry panel to the main panel and start analysis. By selecting the dimension icon at the bottom, you can now select the features where you want to know the geometric relationship. If for instance you select two circles, the distance between the two centres is calculated. Looking at the feature panel, the distance between centres is shown, but if you also want to see the nearest or farthest points, you can. For the overall length of a straight line, we need to find where two lines intersect at each end. Simply select the point icon and select the two lines that will intersect. That point will then show. Now select two further lines and a second intersect point will be found. Now the true distance between these points can be calculated. Now select the pencil icon and add the dimension to the CAD style drawing. Before long you have a fully dimensioned drawing of the component ready to print or save. Part 2 of this video shows how the system can be taught to automatically recognise a unique pattern of a component and carry out a sequence of measurements in a single click even if the component is placed the wrong way round. For more information, please go to our website, www
www.spectrum-metrology.co.uk